Open are going on to Oakland. All right, so this should be an excellent competition. We will kick things off in our 106-pound division. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Hank Referee Kropinski. for this contest is Nate Green from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This contest at 106 pounds. In the red corner, wearing black trunks, he's from Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's welcome Gerald Tucker. And his opponent in the blue corner, he's wearing red trunks with white trim. He's from the Bronx, New York. Here is Ivan Calderon. Three rounds. So we are set to go here in our first matchup in the 106 pound division as Gerald Tucker. And across the way, Ivan Calderon. Tucker, as you heard from Cincinnati and Calderon, is from the Bronx, New York. Tucker, 17 years old, and Calderon is 21. And uh, in this weight division, as we've seen in our uh, amateur competitions that we've already brought you, always a lot of action and a lot of punches thrown. And a lot of quality people in there, too, Al. Bradley Martinez, Javier Munoz, Joaquin Gallardo. So these guys will be joining a pretty elite group. The winner here, of course, uh, this evening will go on to the U.S. Olympic boxing trials in April to uh, possibly win a berth on the U.S. Olympic boxing team. As you see, uh, Tucker is the righty, Calderon is the southpaw. Tucker has the reach edge, but Calderon has been able to negate that with a slick southpaw style and landing very well with right hooks thus far. Calderon is more of a power puncher, and uh, Gerald Tucker is a righty now, but we'll switch a little bit to lefty. They box a little bit more in this bout. There you see him throwing a good counter right hand. Good right hand again by Tucker. Joaquin Gallardo, who won out of the Western Trials that we... Uh, showed you this past week to show you in this weight division Calderon's 5-1 what was Gallardo about 5-8 he had a huge edge 5-8 is right and at this level that's very significant he showed that he could utilize the edge now some boxers are not as adept at doing that but for the guy who can sit behind a school jab very nice walk the uh, computer scoring, and we will look. That's the official scoring. Tucker getting credit for two punches, and uh, Calderon one. A reminder that there are five judges at ringside. They each have a pad in front of them. They will hit the button when they believe one boxer or another has scored a punch. If three of the five judges agree within a second, a point is scored for that boxer. Good right hook to the body by Calderon. And the scoring has to be done with the white part of the glove, and the judges have to feel that the proper shoulder extension is there, that the fighter is moving forward and into the punch to credit it. Under a minute left to go. They are boxing in a mammoth ring. This is one of the biggest rings I have ever seen. You think that's an overstatement? No. This I mean, really have you is. seen any bigger than this? This stretches the limits of what's available. You know. This is a 24-foot-plus ring. Huge. So if you're a boxer tonight and you need some room to maneuver, you're going to have it. Well, they have a concert going on in one of the neutral corners. <laughs> I think I see Hootie and the Blowfish over there. So it's a biggie. Now, pressure being put on by Calderon. He's done that through much of this round. I guess the question is, as Tucker had a brief lead early, good uppercut by Calderon. Question is, how much of that pressure was effective? That'll do it for round one. And we take a peek at the amateur rules, Dave. Well, here's how they'll do it. In the championships, three three-minute rounds, three eight counts in one round or four and about would stop the contest. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Three cautions equal a warning, and three warnings equal a disqualification, and it has to be three